Hi Scorpio, it's Elle. I hope everybody is doing well. Before we get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be notified every time I do post a new video. Like, comment, share, share your love and support. As always, please keep it positive. If you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. How to reach me, how to make a, play, a payment, a payment, a payment. Um, please don't forget to um, send your email with your questions for the reading, guys. Um, if you'd like to make a donation, good God almighty. I'm really not able to talk at the moment. I really, I really did just do this like three times. So mm. what's going on with communication, Scorpio? What is it right now with communication? Um... I feel blocked right now too while I'm trying to say this. So there's some kind of like, it feels like there's either blocked communication, something weird about communication, or you just feel like there's been some level of block, blocking in communication, okay? Um, let's go ahead and get into it though. So again, if you'd like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below. Um, if you'd like to make a donation, that information's in the description box below. Forgive me if I'm repeating myself. I'm so sorry, guys. But uh, I am doing a drawing. So between Saturday to Saturday, if you make a donation, please remember that I will make or I will put your name in a basket, hat, whatever, and draw a name on Saturday and pick someone to receive a free personal 15-minute reading. So it is worth your time if you decide to donate, even if it's 50 cents or a dollar, it's much appreciated. It helps the channel keep going. All right, so let's hop into it. Spirit angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light or protection through the tarot. Archangel Michael, please block any negative energy being sent our way. Send it back into the universe, into nothingness. Amen. So I have the moon card here. Um... This was hidden in a different deck. I actually started a reading and I bombed, right? I just, there was too much noise going on next door and I just, I wasn't getting clear messages. So I stopped it at 10 minutes in, but this was actually in another deck. And to me, when, when cards end up in another deck, it's a message, it's a hidden message. And again, with the moon card, um, the number 18 could be significant. So something significant about the 18th, the date, the 18th, um, here with the moon card, there's something here that's going to come to light. It's that energy of uh, everything done in the dark comes to light, right? Or just, you know, things that are hidden, things that you are unaware of. I apologize for the noise. Um, it's probably why it's going to not be a lengthy reading today. Uh, let's see. It is nice, however. It looks like it might rain. I'm going to try to get out and about and... Um, I am, but uh, maybe possibly get some an outdoor reading, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Strife, Five of Wands. This is competition. This is um, chaos, drama. All right. So it could be in regards to some level of competition, secret coming out. Um, this could be in regards to drama, some kind of secret coming out in regards to drama. Okay. Then we've got the two of cups here and safety. This is a mother and child. All right. But that is a positive energy. Um, that's long-term happiness really with the 10 of cups. That's having a loving, supportive, happy family. Um, So there could be something here that you feel like, and if it's not in a relationship sense, right, this is just the energy of the moon card, right? This energy of whatever's caused some level of strife in your life, whether it's been something with you and your child or something with your children or significant other, or just like, it could be this, again, competition, somebody that is like competing for your person's energy. Um, Eight of Cups. Somebody feels abandoned in a situation or like somebody just walked away. Um, we've got the Hermit energy, Virgo energy. This is the energy of uh, 
a lot of um, a lot of fucking distractions right now. It's pissing me off. Somebody could be distracted and it's pissing them off, or there's somebody caused a lot of distractions in a situation and it's pissing someone off. Maybe what's coming to light. Um, but this is the energy also of doing some soul searching here in regards to something, right? The hermit is somebody who seeks spiritual enlightenment to make decisions, right? It's not like I'm going to ask my mom what I should do and then get back with you or pray on it. I mean, instead you're just praying on it or you're asking spirit to like, um, help you with, you know, you're taking a time out and you're seeking, you know, uh, answers from source and somebody is really irritated, I think right now, because there it is that somebody's not letting them have that. Somebody's trying to distract you. It, it could even be a situation here, Seven of Swords, yeah. This is like a deceptive energy. This is scheming energy. This is somebody trying to get away with some shit. Um, excuse my language, but you guys know me. <laughs> this says escape. Somebody could be trying to escape a situation, get away with something. Um, it does kind of feel like, <laughs> weird um i'm not gonna lie what is this energy we're picking up on today spirit six of cups reunion scorpio energy i feel like it's you okay you are you're trying to escape something or get there's been some type of escape some type of strife drama chaos then we've got safety the ten of cups um What other messages do we have in regards to this reading? Third party energy, three of swords. Yeah, that's what that, that the, the feeling pissed off. Somebody's pissed off about some level of distraction or some level of some energy. Um, could be in regards to a queen of pentacles, a feminine Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. just the energy of the car but that also can represent a mother six of swords um moving to calmer waters oftentimes in the rider weight deck this card is depicted like the picture is a woman and a child getting in a boat so feel like someone it's almost kind of the energy of like uh abandoned like right you feel like someone just kind of fucking left you in a situation or left you when they needed you but i'm hearing like whatever this strife was whatever this drama was here this is basically like a rite of passage here for you moving forward to like moving away from the chaos, like you're taking a lot here with the moon card too from like everything that you've learned in the situation, right? So, um, judgment, shit, Aries season, this is karma. Um, here's the 10 of pentacles. Why do we have, uh, uh judgment here on the table for scorpio so we just jumped right into the tarot today i didn't even do my oracle yet why do we have judgment here on the table for scorpio why do we have judgment here on the table for scorpio I don't know. I feel like some of you, I'm getting this energy of, you know how Scorpio, I feel like we can either be woo, like full of love or full of like, it's not hate. It's just this energy of like, um, you feel like cold or turned off to something completely, or this could be like somebody that hurt you, right? Or something like that. You could just feel... Like, I'm not allowing myself to have any emotion at all in regard to this situation or you because, right? Or something like that is what I'm getting here. What is this judgment here? The star card. 
did flip out in reverse. It could have to do with an Aquarius energy. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but this is uh, mm, in reverse. So somebody receiving karma, Ace of Pentacles. So if somebody, somebody will be receiving karma or will be kind of dealing with a situation here. Hmm. Aries season. We've got Libra, feminine Libra. Energy doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, but a new path. It could be a new path uh, financially. It doesn't necessarily have to be, right? But somebody, if they were feeling like hopeful about some type of a new path, a new direction, Whatever this energy is, Scorpio, it, it looks like somebody's going to be dealing with, it's like, yeah, you're, this is a no-go. Yeah, prayer is not being answered here, right? So whatever happened, again, I don't feel like that's you. What is this energy? Hmm. It just feels like somebody made a bad decision. Honestly, it feels like somebody made a bad decision here. And um, whatever direction this energy thought they were going in, it looks like it's not going to end up good. It doesn't necessarily have to be bad. It just It's like this person is not going to get the outcome that they were hoping for in their life. Whatever this is, this is judgment. This is karma. Honestly, Scorpio, you might hear from this person, this energy that I'm getting, because we've got the the uh, Prince of Swords, which is, um, or the Son of Swords, which is basically like the Knight of Swords in this deck, right? So this is an energy of somebody watching, spying, watching social media, checking up on you. You know, if they're not speaking to you, keeping an eye on you in some way, shape or form, their sexual energy. And then we've got the Three of Pentacles. This could have been a casual connection. Um, or just, you know, three of pentacles can also be like somebody that you are working with in some way, shape or form, right? There's teamwork energy here. So working with somebody in some way, but we've got sexual energy with the ace of wands. So basically with these two cards coming out, it could mean that, right? Um, somebody choosing a different direction. Ooh, now there's conflict. Here's the five of wands again, right? So again, um, again, whatever direction somebody chose here in a situation, it does look like there's a lot of chaos and fighting and drama and conflict. Um, I feel like you're going to hear from this person because we did have the Knight of Cups, the Strength card, and then... Um, Two of Cups connection. So it's like almost somebody ran from a connection or had some other thing. I don't know. You know, it's like hopes, dreams, right? Because the star card is like having hope. It could have been, this could literally be somebody who is in some sort of spotlight star or celebrity. It doesn't have to be. The star is somebody that's well known though. So it could be popular in their community or just somebody that is, you know, um, known you know um somebody went in a direction with a lot of hope or hoping but it looks like with judgment here it's kind of like the spirit was like no you know what i mean somebody you fucked up you fucked up you weren't supposed to go that way so maybe there was like a soul contract because the two of cups is soulmate energy there's connection there it's more than just somebody that you meet and you're like all right there's nothing there right or it's somebody that comes into your life that is supposed to be in your life for some reason right um that's a that's a contract a soul contract that you signed upstairs and before you even came down to this earth right so it's the energy of somebody um 
making a bad decision here and actually having to face some consequences in regards to something maybe um so yeah somebody's it's it's there's gonna have to be honesty in order to resolve a situation here all right your Scorpio. What other messages do we have in regards to this reading for Scorpio? What other messages do we have in regards to this reading for Scorpio? Spirit? Third party energy interfering, a lot of distractions. There are a lot of distractions here in a situation. I don't know what went wrong with, cause, cause it's crazy. We have love songs. So it could be, you know, somebody could have, you know, you could be a singer, your person could be into some type like singing, or writing songs or music, or there's just the energy of, you know, uh, feeling like the love, like somebody, you know, feeling passionate or romantic. The Knight of Cups, you know, is kind of mm, some feelings or romantic interest, right? It's an offer. It's, it's crazy because it's like underneath here we have we have judgment karma somebody turning their back on a situation where there was definitely a connection because we've got the knight of cups strength and then the two of cups which is and then the knight and underneath that the the, the um king of swords which is actually under like having clarity like this person knew who you were and they still just walked away like left you Huh, with the t the ten of cups, because that card says safety. It it almost, in a sense, it almost kind of feels like yeah, you weren't supposed to do that, right? Like it kind of feels like this person is going to be paying a level of karma because they broke a soul contract and they actually, um. They could have put you in some type of harm's way. Um, something though has been put in motion with the Wheel of Fortune. This is a change. This is a karmic cycle completing. This is why the Moon card is out, right? So this is the truth, you know. Um, about a soulmate connection. Look with the Two of Cups. Uh, there have been delays possibly in a relationship uh, or you might have to keep this relationship a secret. Weird. Okay. Um, that took a turn. Somebody was having to keep a relationship a secret. If it was moving slow with the Knight of Pentacles, that could be a possibility. Or um, why? They were having to keep it a secret, though, but why? Let's see. Let's clarify. Somebody could wait. I saw the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody was keeping their new beginning a secret. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody was holding back, not telling you the truth about where they were going, what they were really doing, maybe. Five of Cups. They regret it now. Because they're they're, there's like, because I just saw, that means, you know, disappointment, regret. Somebody's facing karma for something. Yeah. There's universe showing up. Hangman energy. Wheel of Fortune, double confirmation. So, um... Four of Wands in reverse, Ace of Swords. Judgment. So if somebody looked at you and treated you like, no, you're not, you're not the one, you're not my soulmate, you're not this, judgment. Boom, it's here twice. So I don't know what happened here, Scorpio. 
it's somebody getting a different perspective on a situation or they will be through Aries season. It looks like something isn't going to be going well. Fuck, I can't make it up. Star card in reverse again. Judgment, star card in reverse. Judgment. Feeling like, oh. eight of wands. Things are going really wrong or will be, and they're not gonna commute. There could be no communication or very little communication, but they're not communicating that with you or somebody won't be. There's this energy of like the eight of wands. Maybe there's been no, no contact in reverse or yeah, in reverse, excuse me. So um, yeah, and somebody feeling like their intuition has been blocked here or creative energy or something. Again, somebody could have something to do with some type of like, I'm getting songwriting energy, but like innocence of cups is like that creative energy. So there's also the energy of like, um, The universe is forcing this person to get a different perspective on life at this time. Scorpio is what it looks like that has to do with their karma. And I feel like best advice right now, sometimes you have to step out of the way and just like, I mean, there's the tower. This person is either going through a tower or will be. Um, Scorpio energy. The moon card. This is this is um somebody doing something without thinking, somebody doing something impulsively or somebody making decisions fast, right? Fast decisions. And there was a fast decision made that blew up in somebody's face or is blowing up in somebody's face with the moon card here. Um Secrets coming out, something coming to life. Light, I said something coming to life, wow. Ooh, we did have pregnancy recently too. So again, somebody, you know, there was a false pregnancy in a situation that could have been something that blew up in this person's face, right? Moving in a direction, fucking you over, and then boom, here we go with the situation, you know, whatever scenario it might be, Scorpio, there was something like that in a reading recently. It doesn't necessarily have to be that. Now, and the wolf, right? The moon card, things coming to life is like that energy of the wolf in sheep's clothing too, right? I gotta go. Um, so let's pull a few more cards and I'll, I gotta get going. So that could also be representation of something of that nature as well, right? So somebody could have connected with a yeah, and bad investment. Somebody made a bad investment and somebody's looking back at you in total regret right now, Scorpio, because of the investment this person made. The death card, here's Scorpio again. One more message for this reading. Five of swords. Mm. Whatever this, this rejection, this loss, this surprise, this shock is or what has been in your life is giving you clarity though, Scorpio. It was like, all right, I'm not mentally conflicted anymore. You gave me the clarity that I needed. Damn, Scorpio. All right, what other messages do we have in regards to this reading? <sighs> Waiting for news, a package, or a letter. You've got victory in some endeavor. And then time to go out and have fun with the grapes, right? So for some of you, um, I feel like this is, if you've been sitting around waiting for a message or news or something from this person's energy, that spirit saying don't. Like this person has got a little bit of karma or some shit to deal with right now. And I feel like the best thing for you to do is to let them deal with it, right? This person might be um, being forced by the universe to deal with their own karma and deal with, with some level of like a spiritual awakening or whatever it is that they have to deal with at this point in time in their life. It's time for you because we've got victory with the V, right? Um, we've got victor and, victory in some endeavor and then time to go out and have fun 
for you to, again, this is a karmic cycle completing for you. Whatever was, whatever came to light here in a situation, it is something that has completed a cycle for you moving forward, stepping out into a new experience. And then we've got forces working against you. I feel like that has to do with the distractions, interference, everything that we've had kind of in this energy. There could have been, again, with that scheming energy, the seven of swords that we picked up, something at some point in time where somebody was, or there was an energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, swords, energy doesn't necessarily have to be that energy. It's just the energy of the card. Woo, I'm talking fast. I just got to get it out though. <laughs> but that can re represent some type of level of deception or scheme, right? So, all right. Yeah, and this is, again, great personal sorrow. So whoever has been working against you here in a situation, we've got teardrops and great personal sorrow, which is we've had judgment, a star card in reverse, judgment, star card in reverse. So again, there's definitely... Um, you know it's what is that saying you can't play god so if there was somebody in a situation that was trying to play god in a situation or teach somebody a lesson or something something of that nature it is kind of you know okay the universe saying no you know your new beginning is fucked right so um someone trying to create or come between you and a friend or something that you want with the wedge all right what other messages do we have in regards to this reading and we've got a new home, a new attitude. So for some of you, you might actually be moving, right? I'm gonna leave it there because I do have to run today. Um, and I feel like this is gonna be a positive change for you. So again, if you have been thinking about moving or you're moving after a situation or there's some a need to move here or something like that, it looks like it is gonna work out for you. Um, and it is gonna bring in a new energy for you. So just, again, if you're looking for places, um, and you're moving from a place where there's been bad energy, low vibrational energy, just keep in mind that, you know, moving forward, you want to stay in the energy of and manifesting something new, um, thinking about like the happiest you were at a place that you lived, right? The place that you felt like you were really at home and there was happiness and love. So you attract a new place with that energy is the message that I'm getting as well. All right, guys, I love you. Um, I hope this message was helpful for someone. Bye.